Oje. Oje. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, really, that's it, that's it. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. There you go. Woo. We're on. Oh my god, what the hell? Welcome back, folks. It's another action packed off Dom's Fish Adventures. And I'm going to go for Whitey, one of my favorite specimens. I'm going to try and find a spot, anchor up, and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of fish. Anyway, wish me luck. See you out there. Woo! It's a chop. All right, so let's go for some Whitey. Further hand line, but a bit more tidier. Right, so I did catch one. Didn't have the camera on. So that's good for finding a couple more. But terrific. Nice little feed. Love it. The wind is really picking up. I mean, well here you go. I could anchor, because if I find them, you might as well stay where the fish are. Yeah, they must be small ones. Yeah. Here you go. It's pretty small. I'm still going to keep it because they're not many and they're not bad fried up, really nice. Yeah, I might have two on this one. Oh no, my friend the flatty. Good, came off. That's better. Oh and I lost my anchor, um, I lost, lost my uh, <laughs> sinker beauty so I'm actually going to anchor up now stuff it well that's a good one that's a good one all right so I'm going to drop the anchor down yep so I found them and then turn up all this clutter here it's pretty dangerous oh. Big school of fish around me. Um, oh, on the sound of that is, you know what it is. Oh, and I just got. Oh my god! So I found the honey hole in the whiting. Woo! Two massive ones. As I said, there's a big bait ball under me. I'm not too fast. I mean, if there's anything big that would have gone for this whiting, I'd say it's, who knows, herring. Then again, salmon season's around the corner. <laughs> that would be a nice couple of salmon. Juicy whitings. I don't even know if I need a birdie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anything like the other one will be a few more nice special mines. Fine special mines there. Love it. Oh, won't come off in the last minute. That's awesome. Good size whiting. Yeah, so anchoring up did help. I'm actually making them hook themselves. <laughs> Pretty easy. I don't think the burly's going to do anything, so I'm not going to worry about that. So the bait ball is still around. So I've got this, it's a light um, bottom meat. It's got three, three hooks, a little muley. Just never know, sometimes it's something decent around the place. So that's, looks awkward, but that'll be right. Yeah, so a big bait ball on the, on the sounder. Yeah. This could be the way to the sinker. And there is a fish. Another fine specimen. Yeah, beauty. Oh yeah. Another big jump by riding. Yeah. Awesome. Really nice. 
nice fish. Oops. I dearly miss. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's the way. Yeah, beauty. Dinosaurs. Whew. Watch out for that rig. I don't think there's nothing big down there. It's probably, yeah, it's probably a school of herring or bait fish. Still, if that rod goes off, mate, <laughs> we're pretty sweet. Oh, straight away, bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh, oh. One. Oh, missed him. Oh, that's going to attack. Yeah. Well, this is going to attack. I'd say it's nothing big. <coughs> A few birds flying around, so they must see something. Oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! There you go. Um, oh, I don't want to get this tangled up. Well, there you go. And what happens? I'm tangled up. You bugger. No, I got him out. Now, I would have preferred if it went for this hook. What I say? You just never know. Um, we're on. Yeah, it's not the best rod and reel to go for it. Let me just reel this up. Oh, he's running. Yeah, so get rid of this one. As I said, this is a prim outfit. I've got a strong enough line. <laughs> got the anchor line there. Um, to the leader, to the bother, oh my god, the hell, it's a shark, it's a shark, oh, they reckon they're good eating, oh, it just came off, it came off, how about that, <laughs> yeah, he actually bit through the, uh, the last hook, it was a good, uh, you would have seen it, yeah. Probably was a bronze whaler. That would have been a good nice few fillets. Whether I needed them or not, but that was good fun. <laughs> so there you go. Woo! At first I thought it was a salmon, but then I could see the fins, and you would have seen it on this camera, there's definitely a shark. So what I've done, I've put the whiting rig on the small outfit. I've put some more hooks on there, a bit of bait. The only bad thing is, if there's something big hanging around here, the whiting are gonna nick off. Then again, oh, <laughs> the butt's just too small. There we go. Yeah, good size whiting. That's it. That's how you strike. Oh. Come on, to hold this. I come off again. I think I might use this lighter seeker because it's um yeah I'm having troubles filling the weight and I lost two of them. Here we go. Shoot. Still having some good fun with his whiting. I'd say this guy's gonna be a butterfish. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, no way. Two dinosaur whitings. <laughs> oh. Mate, they give you some spaghetti on this to a rod. It's a really some nice split from this one here. Oh, oh man, it's a beautiful dinosaur whitings. Woo! Okay, so I'm back on the Shimano Jewel. I like this rod. There you go. Straight away. Yeah, it's a lot more easy. I can lift it up. I'm struggling. What do I get? Two big whitings. Yeah. <laughs> so the rod, the rod out is definitely important. And I prefer using my hand line, but when you anchor it up, it's no point. Getting a good feed there, I'll definitely share it amongst the family. Probably fill it most of those because they're quite big. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, what's going on? Just the one. <laughs> oh. Now this has got something good here. Definitely not a whiting. What have we got here? Ah, Skippy. Oh my god. Whoa. I haven't seen Skippy for a long time. So that could explain the big school of fish down there on the sounder. Oh. Good fish too. Good fighting fish. What do we got here? Yeah, it's definitely over limit. Will I need it or not? Not really. Good on you, Skippy man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at that. It pops out of the water. Beautiful. Have you out of the oceans. What a great day of redemption. Dang. You gotta be quick, man. Sometimes just you can just jag them by by accident stock and you might hook one up. Alright guys, so we're out of here. Got a nice little bucket of whiting. Got me limit of 30 here in WA. And uh yeah, just great fine specimens. And when they're still kicking, put them in the ice and be great. So I'll go home and uh we'll definitely do a cook up on these ones here. Yeah beauty, absolutely superb. I'm tired now, I've got no beer, and I've only got water on board, so I'll make up for it when I get home. Bloody awesome. What a whitey feast. <laughs> Quick to clean them, we're going to scale them, they're still nice and fresh, nice and easy. And I'm going to bring them to my sister's house. We've got a party there, and we're going to cook them up a very different way. All right, so for this recipe, we need to fill up the whiting. Sharp knife, all the way down the bone. That's it. Trim away the rib cage. This is where you waste a lot of the flesh, but when you've got children to get served up, you don't want them choking on the, any of the bones. That's a whiting fillet right here. So for the cook up, I'm at my sister's house here, she's a master at making pizzas. She's already started the pizza here for me. Some of this, fresh whiting for us. Did I put the skin down? Yeah, skin down. Oh my God. What in there? Yeah. Well, righty, simple. Bit of seasoning. What else do you reckon? I've been doing a long laughing now. I think. These are cherry tomatoes that have been cooked, uh, grown in the garden, and then just... That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. You, see, you see up? Yeah, and garlic. Garlic, yes. Lots of garlic. Voila. Ready? Yeah.
great way to great way to spend the Sunday Arvo. It's autumn, so it's not hot, it's cool. Got the fire running here. Beauty. Gives it the flavour. Yeah. To that. see that it's all just ripped. Yeah, let the cut the crust changes colour from yeah. a bit blonde to really rich. That's about it really. It's quick, isn't it? It is quick. Let's have a little peek underneath there. Perfect. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah. Right. Let's get a bit of oil onto this. A bit of pasta, a bit of basil. Good basil, where do you get the basil from? Straight out of the garden. Pretty healthy. See the wine looks like mozzarella, doesn't it? It's beautiful, isn't that? Ooh. That's well help yourself. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. That looks, looks good, Dom. Yeah, you're doing the well. Right. Well I'm gonna run away so I don't have to share this. Hmm. Really good. Hmm. There you go. I couldn't help myself. I had to make another one. <laughs> Fantastic. That was fish. Taka. Fish. Taka. Fish. Taka, man. Fish. Taka. Fish, Tucker, the fish, Tucker, man. There you go. See you next fish, time. Tucker, fish, Tucker, fish, Tucker, man. Fish, Tucker, fish, Tucker, the fish, Tucker, man.